Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on exercise 1.5 of the chapter number system from class 9. So before starting my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. So here you can see the first question is given as classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. So you have to identify whether the following numbers are rational or irrational. So as I told you, you can see the first question 2 minus root 5 is given. So here you can see root 5 as you know that this root 5 is a rational number. So any rational number 2 is obviously a rational number because it can be written as 2 divided by 1. Whenever a rational number is subtracted, okay, whenever and sorry, whenever an irrational number is subtracted from a rational number that is 2 by 1. Okay, so we are getting 2 by 1 minus root 5. If you are subtracting any irrational number out of the rational number, what answer you are getting is irrational number. Okay, then you can see second question is 3 plus root 23 minus root 23 is given. So here you can see this is plus root 23 and minus root 23 it is cancelled. What is remaining with you is 3 by 1. Okay. Only 3 is remaining. 3 can be written as 3 by 1 which is a rational number. Okay. So you can write this to be as rational number. Then you can see the third one 2 root 7 divided by 7 root 7 is given where you can cancel root 7 and root 7 and you are left with 2 by 7 which is nothing but a rational number. Okay, next you can see 1 by root 2 is given which is purely irrational number. Next one is 2 pi. So you can write this, you can see here pi is given. So you know that pi is an irrational number because its value is uh, 3.142 and it will continue. So which is an irrational. So you can say that 2 into pi is irrational number. So you can see the second question next. Simplify the following expression is given. To simplify this following equation, you need to know this. Okay. So you all ha are having the formulas like this. Root of a b which is equals to, you can write it as separately root a into root b. Similarly, the second one you can write it as root of a divided by b. You can again separate it as root a divided by root b separately. Then you can see the third question root a plus root b into root a minus root b which is equals to a minus b. You can write it as a minus b. Similarly a plus root b into a minus root b is equals to a square minus b. Root a plus root b into root c plus root d will be written as root a c plus root a d plus root b c plus root bd and the last one root of a plus root of b whole square will be equals to a plus 2 root ab plus b okay so using this six identities we have to solve the simplify each of the following expressions okay so here you can see the first one is given as 3 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 2 this is of the form this one okay where a is separate b is separate c is separate and d is separate only the thing is here a and c is not having the root whereas b and d contain some root so what we will do is we will simplify this so what we have to do we have to multiply this 3 with this 2 and this 3 with this root 2 okay so what we are getting 3 twos are we are getting 3 twos are 6 Okay, 3 into 2, we are getting 6. Oh, okay, first we will write this. 3 into 2 plus, then 3 into again root 2, 3 into root 2 plus 3, root 3 into 2, we are getting 2 root 3. Okay, we can write it like this. Plus root 3 into root 2. Plus we are getting, you can see here, this is root 3 into 2 you have multiplied. Again, you need to multiply root 3 into root 2. So, you are getting root 3 into root 2 you are getting. So, what will be the answer? 3 2 are 6 you are getting plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 will be as it is. 
plus this is root 3 into root 2 this is root 3 into root 2 it will become root of 3 into 2 you can see like this 3 into 2 will be 6 okay then moving to the second question it is given as 3 plus root 3 into 3 minus root 3 so it can be written as like this 3 plus sorry this is like this 3 plus root 3 into 3 minus root 3 it is written as a square minus b so this is your a plus b and this is your a minus b so what answer you need a square minus b what is your a square a square is 3 square minus your b is root 3 so you are getting 3 square means 3 3 is a 9 minus root 3 you are getting sorry as i made a mistake here you can see here your a is 3 and your b is nothing but this is actually according to the formula it must be root b here also it must be root b so our b will be only 3 not root 3 okay so here 9 minus 3 you are getting 6 answer will be 6 similarly you can see the third question root a plus root b whole square this is like this root a plus root b whole square okay the formula is a plus 2 root a b plus b so a is nothing but 5 plus okay root a is root 5 if you cancel root root a is nothing but 5 5 plus 2 into root a b will be root of a is 5 5 into 2 okay plus b is nothing but 2 so 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 2 root 10 okay next one you can see here it is given as root 5 minus root 2 and root 5 plus root 2 it is of the form root a plus root b and root a minus root b which is equals to a minus b so this is our root a minus root b and this is our root a plus root b okay so what we are getting we have to get the answer to be as a minus b so what is our a a is nothing but 5 minus is minus and b is 2 so 5 minus 2 is nothing but 3 okay next you can see the third question recall pi is defined as the ratio of circumference say c of a circle to the diameter say d that is they have given us if your pi is equals to c by d where c is circumference of the circle and d is diameter of the circle this seems to contradict the fact that pi is irrational if your pi is equals to c by d then it is in the form of rational number like p by q form then how can we say that pi is irrational how will you resolve this contradiction so for this what we can say is circumference is nothing but measurement of the length of the circle outside length particular outside length of the circle so we can say that we are not having any approximate value for that it can be anything the circumference may measure any number similarly diameter also can measure any number okay so there is no particularly approximate rational value so for that reason we can also say that either your c or d or either both can be an irrational number also okay so what reason we are going to write here is our c or d value or both c and d value can be irrational since the circumference since the circumference and diameter has no particular value okay so we can just approximate it to some value and we can find out the answer okay so you can see the next question the fourth question which is given as uh, to represent uh, root 
root 9 by 3 on a number line and the fifth question rationalize the denominator of the following so these two questions are already uploaded onto my channel the link will be provided into the description box okay you can you can either check my channel or check the description box for this videos and the next video that is exercise 1.6 it is also provided into my channel. It is already uploaded there as loss of exponent. I have explained all the loss of exponents there as well as the exercise 1.6 is completely provided onto my channel. The link will be provided into the description box. Okay. So I hope you have understood with the complete uh, chapter over here. I will be back with another chapter in my next video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with another video there. So till then stay tuned and stay connected. Thank you.